Okay. So basically, this isn't going to be really a video. It's going to be me basically. Ex ex it's going to be a video, but I'm going to be explaining something. I'm going to be explaining basically why I don't believe in God or take religion seriously. And this is just my opinion. So I just thought I would share my own opinion here. I do not believe God is real for many reasons. And I'm going to start at the bottom and go to the top. So the first reason is I don't think God is real because the amount of time I've suffered unbearably, like emotionally and physically, is absolutely inconceivable. It is getting to the point where, and it's still probably nowhere near the end, it's gotten to the point where it's starting to get a little excessive at this point. Okay. And the thing is, like, I, it's hard for me to believe God is real because if God was truly real and he's truly so loving, like people say, why does he allow, like, amazing, like, people tell me what a great person I am. Like, like, people like myself who are great people, not trying to, like, brag about myself or anything, but most people who know me have always told me that I'm a great person. If God is truly real and is so loving, why does he allow peop like great people like myself to suffer intolerably to no end for this many years in a row and doing absolutely nothing about it? I would just like to know. You know, let me tell you something. I remember the day I found out the truth about Santa. And to those of you who don't know, um, if you don't know, then I'm not going to explain it to you. I think it's best for you to just find out on your own. But I remember the day I found out the truth about Santa, how emotionally hard it was. I was absolutely heartbroken. I started bawling my eyes out. I could not believe what I heard. Okay? But that's what I'm trying to say. There's all these things people believe in. like Santa and the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Who says God is no different? What if God is no different than those, you know? Can you really say you know for sure? Okay. That's my first point of advice here. It just does not make sense why people are willing to believe in things, in my opinion. That there's no logical evidence. Okay? If God was real and truly loving, he would not have made people like, innocent people like myself suffer intolerably for this long and doing absolutely nothing about it. And the other thing is, if God was real, if God is truly exists, why does he allow people to die such tragic and painful deaths and do absolutely nothing about it? Why does God allow there to be so much hate in the world? And fucking, like, so much hate, so much tragedy, like, rape, murder, fucking starvation, horrible diseases like cancer. Why does God allow there to be things like this and do absolutely nothing about it? And people die tragic deaths. 
people get abused sexually, emotionally, or physically. People get brutally murdered to death. People die of cancer and horrible fucking diseases like that. It does not make sense. If God is truly so loving, why does he do absolutely nothing about this? It's messed up. If God truly wants people to be happy, why does he allow people to die such tragic deaths only to find out there is nothing after death? Because, truly, I don't believe in life after death. I don't believe it's real. I have never taken it seriously. I have... I don't believe in God, I have never taken religion seriously, nor have I ever truly believed in life after death. It makes no sense. I don't know why we are even born. I do not even know what the point of life is, to be totally honest. Now, I'll explain just things from my point of view. Basically, the way I see it is this. When when we die... There is nothing. You know what? I'm going to share my own opinion. Even being someone who suffered with depression and horrible things for years, I believe life truly has meaning. But once you die, guess what? All that meaning is gone. That's why you need to make the most of life while you're still alive. Because once you die, that's it. Nothing to look forward to. Nothing. I don't know why humans are even born. Why people even have kids. And you know, these are very deep things that people don't really like to stop and think about. Why is God allowing this to happen if he's real and truly loving like people like to say? Why, why does he allow people to die such tragic death? I would love to hear someone explain this to me. All right? Yes, life does have meaning, but once you die, it's pointless. That's why I don't ever plan to have kids of my own. Because that's literally pointless. Think about it. Once your kids die, their lives are going to be just as meaningless as yours are when you die. Maybe it feels good, but once you die, it's going to be taken away. And every human who has ever lived on Earth is going to have to deal with that. It's just, like, to me, this makes perfect sense. People don't stop and ask these questions. If God is real, why does he allow all these horrible, tragic things to happen, stuff to happen in the world, and do literally nothing about it? Okay, I don't really think God is real. If God was truly real, it does not make sense why he would be doing this. No, I don't believe in God. I'll tell you something I believed in. I, believe, I, be, I believed in karma since a very young age. I'm almost, I'm turning 23, by the way, in three weeks from today. So, yeah. But ever since, I just want to tell you a story right now. Ever since I was a little kid, like, meaning eight or nine, it was since I was like, I think I was since I was like nine, I was probably nine when I first believed in this. I believed in karma ever since I was nine. And I'm going to explain why. Basically, some, I have a brother and a younger brother. He's 20 now. So, one time, like, sometimes brothers just antagonize each other. Not really a mean way, but just are mean to each other. Not really in a mean way, but in a kind of playful way. So that's kind of what I was doing. But, like, I was going to antagonize him. But a lot of brothers do that. And normally, I'm not, I'm not at all this, that type of person in real life. At all. But I was going to do it with my younger brother. And then guess what? Not even probably five seconds later, I stubbed my toe. Isn't it quite hilarious? In my opinion, isn't it quite hilarious that that happens like 
five seconds after I'm about to go annoy my brother. And to me, that basically proves karma is real. Do I know this for a fact? No. It's impossible to know things for a fact that cannot be proven. There is no proof of karma existing. But in my honest opinion, I believe in karma. And that's not even the only example I have. There's probably like 10 others, if I truly remembered, I could think of right now. But that's one major example of karma that really sticks out to me. And probably one of the biggest reasons why I believe in karma. And this is another interesting point. People don't stop. Another thing people don't stop and realize is if God is really, truly real, how did God even form? What? Is it a freaking speck of dust? What? Air particles? These are basic, th I mean, these are basic things people don't stop and realize. How would this magical creature with this unlimited power exist? What would, could have possibly created something with this unlimited amount of power? Where you can do absolutely anything. Really, it... I, this is basically why I don't believe in God. Because in my opinion, a truly loving God would never allow people to suffer to no end, do nothing about it, allow all this tragedy, including people dying tragically horrific deaths and doing absolutely nothing to stop it. it makes no sense, bro. And the thing I'm trying to say is, like, yeah. That's all I'm saying. And, like, people who think, I know people who think like me, and people just don't want to believe these things. Because, in my opinion, I do not see, I just do not see any logical reason to believe these things are real. I mean, that happens all the effing time, basically. People discover all these things that have never been discovered since the Earth was made. How is the Earth made? I have no idea, but... Who knows? The Big Bang Theory really may have happened. Who, who would know? These are just things nobody, I don't think, will ever none of us will ever have the answer to and the harsh reality is these are things we'll just never know but no one is wanting to face include even myself uh, nobody even myself is willing to face wanting to face that reality these are things no human is ever going to have the answer to and once we die we're never going to know either so these are basically most likely going to be a mystery for the rest of eternity but I don't know why we were here. I don't know what the even point of life is. It doesn't make sense. I mean, I like I said before, or, early, or earlier, I believe, like I said before, I do believe life has meaning, but once you die, all that meaning is gone forever. So therefore, I don't really see what the point of being born is, and that's basically why. But, yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. But I don't know, honestly. And the other, another point I want to make is this. Think about it. There, what is the point in even making humans, anyway? That's another thing I don't get. Once we think about it like this, this is something people just simply don't stop and realize. Once the human race is totally extinct, even if that takes another, say, fucking five billion years, even if the entire, if the entire human race becomes extinct, regardless of how long it takes, 
if that eventually happens, what is the point in even being born? Is anything anyone d does in their life going to have any effect on the world once the entire human race is extinct? I mean, absolutely not. And these are just basic things people don't stop and realize. But, you know what? I said basically all I need to say. This is basically why I don't take religion seriously and never have. This is why I don't believe in God either, or life after death, or any of that stuff. I don't believe any of it's real, and this, to anyone who knows me, who was wondering, whoever wants to know why I do not believe in this stuff or take it seriously, this is basically why. So I know this was a bit of a long video. We are at exactly 16 minutes now. But this is basically why I don't take this stuff seriously. So if you want to know my opinion of why I don't believe in these things or take it seriously in any way, this is basically why. So there you go.